Seth the programmer just uploaded. Oh, he's is he finally like responding to the um uh everything including all the shit he said on the live stream. All right, we can check that out. The allegations are not true. Okay. We can definitely check this out. I am very interested to see this based on that title, considering he himself confirmed the allegations in a live stream. The only thing he denied is knowingly trying to get a minor's nudes. He said that he was actually just joking about getting a minor's nudes in order to make other people uncomfortable, which is still fucked up. In fact, in his words, he said that while it's technically sexual harassment, he doesn't like that word for it because it was a joke. So, I find it very odd that he'd choose this title. Because he himself confirmed pretty much all of it during that stream. How old are you? I'm fucking 28. How old are you? 28? Wow, I'm 22. Thanks for some karma. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're fucking old, bitch. I am not old. I was looking for like a 14 year old. What the <laughs> fuck, Granny? <laughs> oh my god. Not joking. Do you have a little sister? Hello, everyone. It's your host, Set the Programmer. This video has been a long time coming, and first. there are many reasons this video did take me a long time, the which I will on. be getting into later in the video, and you guys will definitely understand why. I will say this just very bluntly, very short. I have made many mistakes in my life. You know, I've hurt people in the past, including close friends, and I'm currently seeking therapy to work on myself and to be a better person and more understanding of others. And that being said, yes, I was an asshole to my friends. But the bottom line and the most important thing here is I am not a pedophile. The pedophile thing was never really Clyde's huge concern. Clyde defended me in the past about this, and so did many other YouTubers. And Clyde himself, he became a little bit confused by it because of admissions from a different person named Catherine Kawhi, who happened to be a boy, and Clyde always just assumed, well, Seth is not gay, so therefore he would never I hit on a boy. Appreciate and then when he heard about my well. sexuality possibly not being straight, he became a little bit confused. I will just say right now that Catherine Kawhi has already came out and said, no, I was not a victim of Seth. So with that out of the way, we're just going to get straight into satire. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay. I'm going to tell you right now, just this, during the call, I asked for his age, prior I told him I was 16, although I was actually 15, doesn't matter, and he replied he was 14. This is a common thing he said, but whatever. That is so fucking weird. He's, he wasn't 14, Set the programmer, I can't remember how old he is right now, but he's mid-20s. He wasn't 14 during any of this, which is super weird to say. And this is talking about, keep in mind, whole personality back in 2018, being annoying and weird. He responded with the whole naked or clothed thing, and to keep character, I played along and said naked. But you are 15, this guy is even <laughs> much older, joking about being naked and shit is still weird. He keeps deflecting with it being satirical and whatever, and, and I see they are also doing the same here. That doesn't make it any less weird or gross. Like, it just straight up, it doesn't. Victim of Seth. So with that out of the way, we're just going to get straight into satire. It, seem, it seems that, uh, it, from what you just told me, that it was kind of like an unspoken thing that everyone's just kind of trolling each other and trying to make each other uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you never felt threatened by him, right? Uh, yeah, no, I didn't. Okay, and... Uh, yes, like, at the time, I was just sort of... It was just my personality to be as weird and I mean, annoying as possible. Trash. My mentality... Perfect during this whole thing was that most people on Discord have like a veil of irony. So like I just assumed that everyone was sort of trolling at the time. What I'm coming today here is, is to just like quickly speak with you and just get your kind of, you know, your comments right. and everything like that. Um, you, you post Honestly, I, I feel like my situation is like hardly relevant. It, it is like, because once again, I don't consider myself a victim at all. I just thought that my encounters with with him, with Seth, were kind of sus. 
a satire situation. Satire is three years younger than me, and during the screenshot, she is 17, and I am 20 years old. He used to say things like that in private calls as well, like with his like highest of like admins as well up there. They would just be some calls, and he would sit there and say things like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel dumb at as a 16 year old like not recognizing those things now. You know, at 22, I can sit there and say what was i thinking but yeah then in future screenshots where a lot of people are like you know the pepperoni nips and they're saying i'm sexually harassing her she's 18 and i am 21. a lot of people really over exaggerate the age difference and a lot of people they they keep doing this thing where they're like seth you're 21 talking to a 16 year old girl like they'll always like age me up but just like keep her perpetually 16 and it's a completely dishonest narrative it's always a three-year gap she was born in 2000 but Beyond that, a lot of these screenshots are actually doctored or fake, and you'll notice in a lot of these screenshots, she removes all, all of her replies and a lot of context. You can literally see it in the screenshots where it's like, who is Seth replying to? Is he having like a schizo attack? Who is he talking to in these screenshots? And it's because she removed all the context, which originally the context was is that, at least for the original one, was that me and her would get I can't into read this these private all. calls with like admins and stuff like that, which she admits on Clyde's stream, and we'd do it to sort of poke fun at another member in our server who actually had a crush on her so me and her would make screenshot bait and then send it to him so there was no actual intent at soliciting anything there's not like oh you know i was just joking bro it's not even that there's not even an attempt to solicit anything from anyone on top of her already doctoring and lying about a lot of screenshots and to further go into this there's a guy who actually completely despised me he thought i was absolutely a pedophile he hated that and no one was talking about it so he actually helped inspire to make this document on me to begin with and he was the original person behind it and kind of getting into it and you know arguing and creating the arguments for it and then he just straight up realized these people keep telling me different lies and different things and suddenly they're making new stories all the time that don't make any sense and clearly never happened okay so with the whole like 50 messages I woke up to. Satire and Abraham are trying the whole. Oh, he's trying to fly out and fuck. Yeah. Him. Yeah. So like, didn't she apparently have screenshots fun? this time? Yeah. But but that's bullshit because like, you ask them for evidence and then they're just like, oh we didn't say that or we didn't have we don't have any evidence or something and then like now they just suddenly have evidence like uh almost six months later. Yeah. So I'll. I'll relay the, the chronology from what I saw, like, about the little situation that's happening now, and I'll just tell you my kind of takeaway, but basically what happened was, I forgot who I was talking to, I think it was, um, you know the MF Doom kid? He's recent vanilla. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I forgot what we were talking about, we were talking about some shit, but he basically asked me about you. And I basically said, oh, Seth's like a liar and shit, but I don't think he's a pedophile. I think Abraham and them lied about that. And so he goes, really? You think Abraham would lie about that? And I'm like, yeah, I do think he would because he could just flat out lie to my face. And so he goes, huh, well, maybe you should talk to Abraham. I'm like, pass. Right. And then that was like two days ago. Then yesterday, uh, I guess Abraham hits up fingerprint and is just like, Hey man, God, this I was is hoping already that I could talk to so Penny much or something because <laughs> recently, very you know, I, I don't know, not like you know, just, there's something the really, there's something it's really going off on a tangent talking about it. And I was like, I don't know really the last the time because here. of this shit said that we weren't gonna ever talk again yeah. because there's just no point in us speaking. So I was like, yeah, I'm good. Then that try harder kid who's like the notorious doxer in this community then proceed to ask Infamous, oh. Yo, can you ask uh, Trini and Fingerprint to come talk with me? And Fingerprint's not even involved, so that already seems Holy suspicious fuck. as fuck to me. This actually feels so like some like... kind of middle school, like, lunch table shit. This goes on for so long. Okay, so I think the- Oh my god. Oh my god. This is over ten minutes of the video. Wow. Thanks to tier one, Juan. Why? This feels like it doesn't even run in line with what was even being spoken about. I've never heard any of those names before, and I watched that whole fucking stream, read the Google Doc, 
I've never heard those names. I, I don't see how it plays a role. If the main point is that people were lying and spreading different rumors, you can still make that point more succinct. Like, you don't need a 12-minute interview with someone that I still don't even understand the role they play in all of this. Surely there was a better way of presenting those points as opposed to a, a interview with the worst audio of all time and running off talking about people no one knows. Dude, I didn't even have the account. Yeah, it's not like you can really do shit. Miners. So, you heard it yourself. She is very dishonest. Creates a lot of lies and weird stories. Uh, this is also true with the whole three-way situation where she was saying me and whoever else were going to have a three-way with minors. This is just completely not true. I'm going to have someone else vouch for me right now. They're actually older than me. And she completely just pulled that story out of her ass to make me look worse than I am. Alrighty, so regarding the whole threesome thing, I, uh, that didn't I have to do anything with satire don't at all. remember um, that, that even was a coming different, up. different uh, person. Um, it was like this moderator, basically. It was like on kick. It was like 2017, 2018, I think. And uh, basically this dude offered uh, to have us fuck his girlfriend, right? And this, uh, they were older than us at the time. So, um, yeah, n nothing nothing came out of that. But I just wanted to bring context to that because none of that thing ever happened with Santire. So, yeah. But on top of this, her, Abraham, hang out with a person named Try Harder. And Try Harder is a known swatter. He actually gets paid to put swats on people. Uh, will link to their PayPal's, rob them. He's a crypto thief, uh, and he does all this. And we have it all on on recording. I can play it here. Report him to the police. Hello. That's a felony. Hello. I I can't the, deal with this anymore. The last guy who did this my, got twenty years my dad in jail. Just shot my little sister. There's. So, huh. Hello, my hello, hello, um, my 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 dad just shot my little sister. There's <laughs> If they know this guy, they absolutely need to report him. Eight. Like, ASAP. Holy shit. This is all from an anime debate community. Holy fuck. And to be fair, this guy's voice literally sounds like the kind of guy to do this kind of shit. That is exactly what I imagine someone who does that sounds like. I can actually hear his voice like he's getting really nervous and anxious, the butterflies in his stomach. This is the most exciting thing he's ever done in his fucking life. Usually he's just getting bullied at school. Report this guy to the authorities. A hundred percent. Thanks to the resub Korok. Ginger in the tier one tries. Surgeon or surgeon? Circle. Spell it. I'm not... S... The an is that true, Gavin? That's shocking to hear. I didn't even know about this whole anime debate community till all this. <laughs> Eight, two, okay. Eight, okay, please. Listen to me, please. Florida. Is the prime Maui. Is anyone in chat confused what any of this has to do with the allegations? So, as I understand it, this guy played a role in some of the allegations. So, right now, this is Seth pointing out who this guy actually is. And he's a real piece of shit. So, it is re this is relevant to the whole story, for sure. This previous one, I don't know why he spent 14 minutes of an interview on that. But this one, is this has relevance. This guy should be in jail. He should be getting 20 years, just like the last guy who used to do this. No doubt. It's three, two, one. Three, two, one. Okay, you're doing a great job. Okay, 
Jeffrey, tell me exactly what happened. Okay. Thank you so much. My dad came back home. He was probably drugged. I don't I don't know. There's drugs all over the place. This it smells so badly. There is drugs all over the place. And okay. <laughs> the reset, he, Francis. he came back. He had a shotgun and he straight up he, he he straight up shot my little sister. Swag Kage's live stream works better for getting info. Well, I'm trying to get Seth's side first. And then see everything else is from here. Because right now, what we have is the live stream, Clyde's video, and that huge Google Doc about everything. And this is Seth's response to all of it. The live stream certainly did him no favors. This is focusing on mainly this guy right now, and then this interview, which I still don't really see the point of. How long does this go on for? They have current address. <laughs> Lives in an apartment. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. No shit. Wait. No. That's that's the one that attached to. It is him. Look. I know. I know. I know. That's the thing. I know. That's the thing. Wait. Wait. You, wait. Wait. Hold on. What are the What is the last four digits of the phone number you think you have? No. That's not. No. 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 He has a Yahoo account too. Are you using Are you using that stem? No. It's fucking just random ass shit. Uh, what do you I don't. I wonder. I, w I wonder if that. I wonder if this is his address then. I think I might be running him for five fucking gems here. Are you using, are you using that stem? No, it's. Fucking, so if this guy is such a well-known figure, he needs uh, to be reported. That's my main takeaway right now. That. I'm telling you, like it's blurred I know, out. Thanks, the resub, Yazzie. I wonder. I w I w are these children? I would imagine, based on this kid's voice, he's probably under eighteen. But that probably won't matter when it comes to a crime like this. Swatting is treated extremely harsh when they do catch the people behind it, so he'd probably still get fucked regardless, and rightfully so. Kid sucks. Piece of shit. This isn't the only guy that was accusing Seth the Programmer. He's going through, I, I, as I understand it, going through multiple people that were talking about it, and this happens to be one of them, and the guy's a real piece of shit. Why did this dumbass record himself doing it? He's watched too many anime power scaling. He thought he was reaching, like, Frieza levels of power by calling the authorities and struggling through a fake call to swat someone in an anime debate community. So he recorded it as his power play. And I imagine that's going to be instrumental evidence when he does get reported. And he will. I'm pretty confident he will with all of this coming out now and shining such a huge spotlight on it. Yeah, this is the- this isn't just the anime community, this is a even more specific niche. Anime debate on what anime character would beat another anime character's ass. That's the community. No, Seth- Seth is the one who is getting swatted by this guy, Try Harder. That's why he put it in this video, to showcase the guy. Swatting equals attempted murder. Yeah, and that's exactly what they ruled for uh, the last guy. His name was Swatistic. That actually did lead to someone dying. It was over a Call of Duty disagreement. He swatted the guy. A guy got shot and died. And the guy who did the call, Swatistic, got 20 years in jail. Still in jail. And will likely end up staying in jail for most of his life. I wonder if, that's, I wonder if this is his address, then. Pacod, Pacod, I sent you a Twitter DM. Please add Try Harder. Um, Try Harder says he knows the truth and he really needs on. Uh, you guys know Try Harder? Yeah, I know yeah, Try Harder. Try Harder, try harder, try harder is a dox. Is, that did not, see, that, that's just a kid seeing anyway, right? It's this is really quiet. Why is the audio so quiet on this? So, the way to approach this situation, I can't hear this at all. Whether this is, you know, Clyde's fault or not, Tryharder was on his stream talking about me, and he was also on Keemstar's stream, and then Abraham and them are trying to bring more people, more swatters, more people trying to commit identity fraud with my things, and it's like, okay, if I reply, am I in danger? You know, and that's a huge reason that I was very intimidated to reply in this situation, and I would really like your guys' support here, and I'm going to show all of the proof 
all of this is just completely objective information. It's not even like an interpretation. I will show all of it. Them trying to get my social security number, them trying to get yearbooks, them trying to get a swap. So I understand that this group that he's talking about here is a very shitty, shady group. A hundred percent. He is 100% in the right here. But we are really off the mark right now. A lot of what Seth admitted to in the live stream he has yet to even mention, such as when he did agree that it's technically sexual harassment what he was doing to the to people in the Discord, some underage, but he didn't like the word sexual harassment for it because he viewed it as jokes. I would like to hear his perspective and defense on that. This, I completely agree with him on. These people being pieces of shit that need to go to jail. Agreed. I get it. You've provided sufficient evidence. They've provided sufficient evidence of their crimes themselves fucking idiot bozos so i agree you you absolutely w on that you're right but we're not talking about the allegations right now we're talking about one person in one group that wasn't even the ones that really started it or brought it up which is what i'd like to see from or like where i'd like to hear from him on utter on someone else it just seems really disingenuous and kind of evil because People actually do experience like serious sexual harassment, or you oh, know, they you actually Shit, even then far. it's like I don't think I'm sexually, and everyone has like an anime profile picture, and they're just saying empty insults at each other. So yes, I said you have pepperoni nips or whatever. You know, even then it's like I don't think I'm sexually harassing her, right? It's like think about it this way: if you're talking to some dude or some like high schooler in like a Call of Duty lobby, and you're like, you have a micro cock, you dork, are you gonna say I was sexually harassing him? It just no, seems no one's really making that argument. and kind of evil because people actually do experience like serious sexual harassment or, you know, they actually get sexually assaulted by, you know, parents. It was the frequency, man. It, it wasn't just like the pepperoni nipples thing. It was the frequency. I'm, I'm misremembering the exact wordage, but another one was talking about like you joking about asking for nudes. Like that's, that's a little different than calling someone in a Call of Duty lobby a micro penis, right? Like it is different. You can say, like, oh, I was just kidding, didn't actually want the nudes, whatever. But it's still, I mean, that's weird. It's uncomfortable. It is sexual harassment, right? Like, by definition, to the person that didn't want to get that message from you and maybe didn't know you were joking. So it's, it's, it's different. But no one's making that argument. Like, the pepperoni nips is the only example. It was the frequency and the insistence parents or you know bullies or whoever and then so just saying like these like empty insults or sexual harassment is extremely loaded and disingenuous so because i actually don't agree at all with people saying that this is sexual harassment just to like blatantly just like randomly talk shit with no real meaning or context clearly i wasn't actually looking at a picture of her or saw her in person it was an empty insult she is three years younger than me and a grown woman at that point in time it's just absolutely bullshit, right? I don't, I don't agree with that terminology at all, and I don't think anyone should. It's disrespectful to actual people who are sexually harassed, and I want to move on from that. I also that's well, that's pretty, that's pretty low. Uh, hold on, let me. I really don't want to go through the live stream where they've started pulling up the shit that he used to say. If I remember correctly, one of them was him bragging about seeing nudes too, or something. I don't want to paraphrase it and be wrong, per se, but I don't want to go through the live stream either. But it was just the frequency. You you kept doing it. People kept saying it's weird to do it. Called it out as sexual harassment, and you're backpedaling saying it's not sexual harassment because it's just jokes. It doesn't, it doesn't change it. <laughs> it doesn't. It's like, oh, I was just joking about asking for nudes. It's still the same. It's still the fucking same. Like, whether or not you got nudes, whether or not you were actually looking at pepperoni nips when calling it out, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change it from being weird. It's still harassing. I also have a lot of evidence that when I talked to minors in the past that I would always try to keep it public many, many years ago, even around this time. Which further shows that my intentions with these types of people were never malicious or as bad as they're trying to paint it out to be. I did not take the Keemstar stream very seriously, and neither did Clyde. Clyde realized that Keemstar was just trying to take two friends that were having a hard time and pit them against each other for entertainment. I'm pretty sure the dude is actually a type of sociopath. 
Uh, Keem Sora has actually been known to make false accusations on people in very similar situations, which is why I was very uncomfortable being on the stream and why I kind of just took the piss and just kind of like played it up for entertainment and really didn't take anything seriously. If you want to find out more about his history with that, you can see him ruining a man's life named RS Glory and Gold by falsely accusing him of being a pedophile and just straight up ruining his life and watching him cry on stream and all kinds of things. Again, you're not wrong. But that has nothing to do with what you were saying on the stream and the things you confirmed. It was stupid to not take it seriously then. It was stupid to go on there in the first place, but even dumber to go there and apparently take the piss for the sake of entertainment off real allegations. But it's still stupid from you. But yeah, I mean, obviously you can call out plenty of things from Keemstar. And it looks like he spends a good five minutes doing just that. But that, that does nothing on your case. You shouldn't have gone there in the first place, especially knowing his history, and certainly not to take the piss out of the actual allegations and make yourself look significantly worse. That's on you, 100%. Me doing any animation direction, as I said in the previous recording, I do have a lot of ideas for that. I can also provide animation direction and some art correction as needed and some ideas and still refrain from being in the full project release which could be on omar's unique channel or on clyde's channel or wherever it goes the other person who was on the stream was pat god uh, i will just say this straight up i feel very uncomfortable with him being there because he's literally just a random guy from discord who just insults people like that's his whole thing his name is pack god like packing is just mindlessly insulting people which is makes it very ironic that he doesn't understand when i'm also just insulting people allegedly and i heard this of uh, before i actually got on there and before i got on it again he apparently roasted a person named sneeko or packed him one time and then they kept in contact before and then they talked before and Sneeko is in support of an, a movie called Cuties, and I'll just let someone else say it. <laughs> what his opinion is of me, because it's coming from a man who likes Cuties. So why the fuck would it matter if he thinks I'm a bitch? I don't know how we got here, but... It legitimately couldn't mean less fair. coming from a guy who openly defends a softcore child porn production. Hey, if I ever wanted to get cancelled, uh, this is the video. And so, I was kind of uncomfortable being on this stream or being invited yeah. to it again. Once again, it's a guy named Pat God. <laughs> Five gives some might suck. Be close to a guy named Sneeko. And it was just like, I really don't want to be associated with this any longer. <laughs> One last thing I want to get into before I get more into, like, my career stuff. Uh, and segue more into, like, <laughs> that was That was a top five anime twist in the power scaling I certainly didn't expect to come out of fucking nowhere. Goddamn. Like that. One last thing that needs to be addressed from the Keemstar stream is, you know, Swag Kage versus me, uh, where he kind of came on, you know, he was like, Seth, you liar, you rat, you told me this, and Six was telling me you said that, and, you know, et cetera, and I was like, Swag, you know, this Oh, yeah, the happy coach right back here, in stock. I say it, you know, years ago. Uh, the hashtag ad, yeah, the this. happy coach back said, in I stock. Said, I you know how water. fucking bad this is? The reason you didn't try to defend this shit to me before is because you know how crazy it sounds. Instead, you just said that the person in the screenshots wasn't you. And the reason I'm trying to add people Moist to the is because you want to maintain this he said, she said fucking narrative instead of having six, someone who you have co-hosted videos with for like, what, two fucking years now who people take seriously? And Troy, somebody who six also takes seriously, who six and I can both vouch for, who we know come in here and say that you were telling people that that wasn't go, you. Those go to one minute and 20 seconds. That you have been. Yeah, sure. So when the when the doc originally came out, the 50 or so pages with the pedophile evidence or whatever, and Seth telling me, you know, it's all a troll. Uh, some of these screenshots aren't me. Some of them are doctored. Regardless of if they are doctored or not, I believed him. And uh, I will show some screenshots now that Swag was indeed, you know, in these calls and aware of this. And even on his own stream, he admitted it, right? He's like, well, I was only there for a few minutes. Well, um... Maybe I was there the whole time. I don't remember, you know, and stuff like that. You can you can just tell he's starting to flip flop. He's very nervous of being attached to the situation. Swag, I'm just gonna say this: no one's coming for you, man. I'm the only one that's gonna get in trouble here. All right. I just wanted you to take accountability and admit 
that I wasn't lying, and if at best it was just a miscommunication between us, okay? No one needs to be called a rat, liar, sociopath, light yagami. No one needs to have, like, this middle school breakdown over a miscommunication like that, okay? It's really weird. And, you know, Six himself, on a stream, directly contradicts what you're trying to tell me he said. He literally himself says, Seth said some were him and some were doctored. Because that's how it's always been, and that's what I said two years ago. That's what Six said. And we know that you were there, and so you can make up. Which ones are doctored for a certain amount of time or whatever? But he's stopped. mentioned that a lot of times now. He, I think it'd be very helpful to his case to point out which ones are doctored and not real. Because right now he only showed one where it wasn't doctored. She just, or uh, actually, I don't remember who it was. It was in the beginning. They just put out their, took away context, not necessarily doctored. It'd be really helpful if he would say or show which ones are not real. Stop trying to attack me over it, all right? You don't throw me under the bus to make yourself look better. It's really immature. And this whole narrative that I told you back in the day that all these screenshots weren't me just isn't true. I've been very consistent for years, okay? I've been consistent since day one about this because that's the truth. That's literally why Trini turned on them in this situation because some of these screenshots were real and not real. Six literally contradicts what you're saying. No, I never told you that. You might just be forgetting... I want to assume you're forgetting, but don't throw me under the bus over that because it's just not true, and no one, and it, it's just objectively not true, and there's too much evidence to the contrary. But all right, and I'm just gonna say this as a warning here: a lot of these clips and a lot of these things are recorded at different times, so I'm sorry for the audio quality. My mind's a mess. The world's a mess right now. Um, I'm just gonna straight up say uh, the audio quality will be different. It's a different day. Um, a lot of these clips are made like right after I got out of the psych ward and I do sound a lot different in those. My emotions are completely different. My new medication is hitting me a lot different. So please forgive me for sounding a little bit different in this next section. Uh, and I hope it doesn't bother you guys too much. <clears throat> the last thing I want to talk about, uh, last thing I wanted to talk about were things I just found untrue and maybe misworded by many people that... I don't really agree with that I felt need to be addressed before moving on. Some of these are minor and not that important, so no drama or anything, but a lot of people that aren't familiar with our community took these way out of proportion and didn't really understand what Clyde or I was saying uh, when he said these in his videos. So no fault of Clyde, just mainly the outside community's misinterpreting. Uh, the first one is the whole I have never debated anyone good before thing, which what? Which this is like a really dorky thing to uh, mention or care about, but it is sort of important for my image. Um, and this is just not. That's like the least important. That like that shouldn't even be in here, man. To defend the quality of your debates, like this is certainly not the time or the place for that. True. Everyone in the community knows I used to debate literally everyone everywhere at any opportunity. I have debated pretty much everyone of note in this community and probably Santa is moral or something. That's just my honest opinion. And as for King of Lightning and that whole debate, I did have some prep for that, but it was very minor and it was kind of uh, people. That, that is, this this was not the video to be talking about the quality of being like the debate warlord uh, that, that shouldn't be here. People were just confused due to Clyde's video because it said... Um, and are saying that I'm an industry plant and I don't make my own stuff, which just isn't true, and this is not Clyde's fault either. People are just genuinely kind of stupid and took what he said out of context. Uh, no offense, but like that's not at all what he was trying to say. Clyde was saying that a lot of my videos outside of my niches have other people help with them, which is true, but I still have a large part in writing them and credit everyone every time. The only that is actually just not true, man. Because that was what stood out to me, like, right off rip because I was unfamiliar with this whole community and I looked at the Naruto vs Ichigo trailer that is on your channel and I, I couldn't switch. find who I animated it. The quality of that animation was super super high and I was very impressed and I wanted to know who animated it so I turned to the description and you didn't even put Omar's name in it. Omar's name wasn't even in here man. So I completely believe Clyde that you don't credit everyone that helps you with work because this is Omar's work. Omar and his team did this incredible fan animation for you. And I couldn't even find who it was. So that's just, that is just not true. Straight up not true.
And he's still not here, even after being pointed out so many times. He has still not put Omar's name or any credit to Omar here. It wasn't at the end of the video either. Like, there was no way for me to even know who fucking animated this. Many times I haven't credited someone for helping with the video. It's like Batman vs. Kira and the Fate Power Scaling video. Batman vs. Kira was a half-and-half half project made by me and Webcam Parrot, and I genuinely forgot to credit him for his help with Batman feats. Maybe he'll address um, the Naruto cool vs. Ichigo time, one. I after this, and I told him the same thing. But I still did Maybe pretty much everything else with the story and Death Note stuff and how they'd interact being done by mm. me. Parrot more so just provided feats. He admitted he got off of a respect thread online, which was written by someone else, which you could actually probably find yourselves if you just Googled Batman respect thread or Batman detective feats respect thread or something like that. You probably find pretty much everything in that Batman vs. Kira video in a respect thread. Not for Kira, but for Batman. Uh, the Fate one, I didn't credit the writer because they are actually YouTubers as well as two people, um, and they wanted to just work with me, and they liked me a lot, but they knew what was being said was probably controversial, and even though it was their opinion, they didn't want to get hate for it. Uh, they just found it fun to work with me and liked me, as I said before. Otherwise, every time someone helps, I usually do mention them by name in the video or the description, and if I no. forgot anybody, I'm not trying to hide it, I just genuinely forgot. Uh, and a lot of the How do you forget for your biggest animation? That animation costs over $100,000. How could you just forget to credit Omar and the team for that? That that feels very odd. That is a wild thing to forget, especially after pouring that kind of money into it. And you had a whole, like, Patreon set up, like, for that. And I'd like to see him address that, because one of the things Clyde talked about that I found to be particularly interesting is he would constantly mislead people on the amount of money the Patreon was making publicly. So it was making a lot of money. Like, it was making a decent chunk of change, but he was still acting like it really wasn't making anything. He's saying, like, oh, it's only like a thousand bucks a month or whatever, when it wasn't. It was like 10k a month. These videos were edited by Clyde a year or two ago. But all of my new content is not made with any of these people and was an entirely new team I made by myself uh, with Crisis Edits being the main editor. He did an amazing job and is an insanely good dude and very smart, by the way. Even if you hate me, even after this video, please check out his stuff. He did nothing wrong and was never involved in or knew about any drama or anything really about me. He doesn't even want to work with me anymore at this point, so do give him his accolade if you hate me or even like me for that matter. He deserves a lot more clout. Otherwise, when it comes to videos like How Strong Is Goku, which I wrote hundreds of pages of notes for and researched for years to make that He's video, not gonna mention uh, the, I will say uh, I never give enough huh? credit to my editors and what they had to do as well, and Clyde was very helpful with the editing of the Boo Saga portion of that video. Otherwise, I do all my own stuff in terms of writing. This should be obvious as I do live collab. Um, this was like a weird conclusion he came to. There was like no evidence I was trying to manipulate him at all. Um, I just want to say this to you, Swag. Uh, you said you contacted the police four times up until February 8th. Um, I was actually... I don't even I don't even want to mention this in the video, but I, I feel like I'm kind of forced to because you made your stream. Um, I actually... I was not I was not actually threatening suicide. Um, I actually already tried to do it. Like, on February 9th uh, through 12th, I was in a psych ward. Um, and they were keeping me in there for my own good. Um, and I'll, while I was in there, Jesus Christ. they, um, That's I'll just heavy. get the paper right here. This is exactly what they said. And I'll show it, I'll show a little bit on the screen. I don't want to dox myself. If there's any influencers that want proof for any of this, I can show it. Why would anyone it, like, want proof of that? No one wants to celebrate that kind of shit or call it out for being fake. That's an extremely heavy and personal thing. Um or heard from before in a long time were telling me to keep fighting and keep doing my thing. So that's why I came back to YouTube um, to try to... Sorry, it's it's kind of... This is kind of emotional for me. I, I genuinely was like, okay, I'll try to fight for everything. You know, I, I came from nothing and I tried to work my, my ass off to make everything I have and people are trying to take everything I have away from me because I don't have anything. So it was hurtful. And I, I don't really agree with this whole narrative that like... Because I want my friends to vouch for me on certain things that they agree with, that I'm somehow like some like Aizen anime villain manipulator. Um, and yeah, I do know that like. Same 
so when I was learning about the situation during stream, he tweeted at me saying I couldn't handle his swag and then literally put a picture of one of Bleach's biggest villains, Yuahabak, or however you say his fucking name. So not Aizen, but he himself was playing the villain. Like, it's, I don't really think it's people saying that about you. You literally said that about yourself, publicly, because you leaned into it so hard about being the villain. And as you said, you were taking the piss out of all of it, even though everyone just wanted your perspective and wanted to see what's true, what's not, is this all real, because this is very alarming stuff. And instead, you kept doubling down on everything. And, again, not Aizen, but you literally tweeted at me saying I couldn't handle your swag and then posted a picture of Yuahabak saying, I don't like war. Well, I, don't, I don't remember if you said swag or spiritual pressure, I, I forgot, it was, it was something like that. It was one of the two, either swag or spiritual pressure. Saying these things is hurtful to people, but that's not what I was trying to go for. Uh, swag, if you wanted to know what I wanted you to vouch for me for, I just wanted you to vouch for me that I write my own videos. When you, like, went on stream and were like, Seth is a sociopath, a liar, an evil man, it was really jarring. And it was kind of scary, dude. Like, I, I actually just, I was like... What in, what in the fuck is happening, right? And, you know, when I would be going through a lot of stuff, you know, you'd, you'd, you'd watch these guys' videos and they're like, they're just sort of, they're like posting like mental breakdowns or like um, like weird like personal moments of mine like publicly to try to make me seem like a bad person because I have mental illness or, you know, like I have this crazy depression disorder that makes me like manic and suicidal and stuff and they're trying to use it as like a weapon against me it, it, it's really it's really abnormal and I, I hate to keep harping on it but that is something you also did in Clyde's video he showed plenty of evidence of you doing something very similar so that's even more fucked up if you also really understand that perspective so intensely and you openly did confirm you sent and said edgy shit like that to people that have similar mental illness. Swag, all I wanted from you was just like to say just, hey Seth, I'm sorry for calling you a liar and a rat on Keemstar's stream um, because you know, like, you even admitted it. You admitted it on your live stream, right? You know, and Elliot. Um, Seth has screenshots that I was there and then you said okay, well, I was only there for a little bit, but, you know, maybe we didn't know. And it was just a misinterpretation or, like, a miscommunication. So I just wanted you to apologize for trying to make me seem like a liar or a rat for that situation because I wasn't lying, right? Like, I actually thought you were there. Um, I had all the screenshots, and, like, you never clarified to me. So if you want to say that you weren't there for the whole thing, there's no proof for that, but I'll take your word for it. You should still just apologize for what you said, and that's all I really wanted was just for you to hold, like, some kind of accountability but instead, you try to turn me into, like, some, like, Aizen anime supervillain. And you'll notice, like, with a lot of, like, the rhetoric being used, they, they try to, like, paint me as, like, the sociopath, like, emotionless, like, evil man. Um, but at the same time, they try to say I'm, like, full of emotions, like, of happiness, anger, and, like, sadness at the same time. And that I help people and all kinds of shit. And then, you know, professionals also just don't agree that that's what's happening. Like, I have a bunch of papers from professionals I can show influencers and stuff. Um, and I'm not trying to use it as, like, a get-out-of-jail-free card. It's just, like, reality. Right? That's just how it actually is. Right? Like, my livelihood that I've been working, like, seven years on is being taken away. And I already had problems to begin with. Like, yeah, I feel awful. Like, wh how is this... How do you come to the conclusion that I'm like Eisen or something? So this, it seems like he's off the allegations now and just talking about more personal matters. He didn't really address like any of the stuff that was talked about. I think the whole section of pointing out the doxers, swatters and all that's very important because they need to be in jail for sure. But everything else, he, he didn't mention any of the bullying to people who also had mental illness that he himself is struggling with. He didn't... He didn't really tackle, like, anything aside from, like, the... He's saying some of the screenshots were doctored and that the sexual harassment messages were jokes. So not real sexual harassment. Wow. 
That was that was a big one. Fuck. I, I just keep I keep going over the the thought process on the because the title is the allegations are not true, but he doesn't actually talk about the allegations. The vast majority is spent calling out a, a group that certainly does deserve to get called out with the swatters, and then talking about how the other people accusing him are also not cool. Like, come on. That's the only. That's, again, that's the only thing he addressed was like the people calling him a, p a pedophile. But he just said the sexual harassment messages were meant as a joke, which isn't exactly like a great defense. Like that's not enough to say he's a pedophile or anything. Of course not. But like the messages are weird and are literal textbook sexual harassment. So I didn't appreciate him downplaying like different levels of sexual harassment. Like that. That's such a weird angle to take on it. But that's the only thing he talked about. Again, he didn't go over any of the Patreon stuff where he would openly lie about the amount of money Patreon generated. He did lie in this video about always giving proper credit. I just pulled up his Naruto vs. Ichigo animation where he didn't even credit Omar, the actual animator, or anything. Uh, he also didn't tackle anything about the bullying messages he sent to people also going, going through mental health issues, uh, including, like, making fun of people that were suicidal. Like, he didn't tackle any of, like, the actual meat of the the discussion but i completely agree with him on the what was his name try harder that guy needs to be in jail 100 percent. that guy absolutely needs to be in jail right now look at the resub trap he can't really defend it the best and only thing he could say is his joke yeah i mean yeah he but he could also just be like this was tasteless i was young and stupid at the time I was being edgy, and I realized that this is bad now, and I apologize uh, for what I said to these young people. I realize now that sexual harassment, no matter how I felt about it at the time, is still not a great thing. But instead he just says, it's not real sexual harassment, so when I was asking him for nudes, I was joking, thus it's not real sexual harassment, so it's disingenuous to call it such. Which I think is terrible, it's just a bad thing to say. That's not taking responsibility for it. It's also not a defense. No, it's not a defense, but that's like how you handle that. That's how you would handle something like that. And then if, like, to defend other points, like the doctored, the doctored screenshots, the ones that are fake, will point out which ones those are. So that way everyone can see what's real and what's not. I mean, I obviously hope, like, he's not a huge fucking sociopath asshole or anything. I don't think anyone wants that to be the case. But this was not a very good video to prove that he's not. Because he didn't really talk about any of what was actually being discussed. He said he only cares about being called a pedo. Did you fucking listen? <laughs> and he did a bad job at defending that too. Like, what do, you, what do you mean? Everything he tried to do here was not done well. And that's a terrible look anyway. If the only thing he cared about was that one thing. When there was so many on top of that. Are you part of the anime debate community as well? Because you need work. His defense about this sexual harassment isn't something he gets to determine. I mean, yeah. We don't need to harp on it. It's It was very not a good look to say that because I was joking and I didn't actually want her nudes, it's not real sexual harassment. Like, it's just not... That's not a good look. I think everyone can recognize that. I don't know, man. That video just, like, made me sad. <laughs> I, I, I don't know.